E aí família, beleza? Quem tá falando é o Mercena começando mais um vídeo pra vocês Hoje pessoal, irei mostrar um vídeo que eu acho que todos os alunos gostariam que acontecesse em sua escola Lá nos Estados Unidos, os professores estão comprando um novo brinquedo que é febre em todo o mundo Finger Spinner Estão dando para os alunos para eles relaxarem na classe de aula, galera Galera, vamos assistir o vídeo que comprova isso e depois deixe o seu comentário, o que, que você acha disso? Você acha que é certo? Você acha que é legal? Você acha que isso atrapalha nos estudos da garotada? Então não esqueça de deixar seu comentário aí abaixo, deixar o seu gostei, marcar o vídeo como favorito e compartilhar ele com seus amigos, certo? Bora para o vídeo? They are popping up more and more in schools and stores are really having a hard time keeping them on the shelves. I'm talking about fidget spinners. They're a device that the manufacturers claims it helps you with anxiety, helps you to focus, helps you deal with your stress. I am, I know these things. You I do? see them all the time. Them? Yeah. Are they really though a useful learning tool or are they just an unwanted distraction? News 5's Nick Foley takes a closer look. We've all been there. The finger tapping, knee shaking, or even pen clicking. But now a new gadget to control all that fidgeting, and it's causing a whirlwind in classrooms. It kind of makes me focus on my work and stuff. Wyatt is one of dozens of students at Pfeiffer Elementary in Akron that uses the fidget spinner to help keep his antsiness in check so he can focus on learning. The teachers and stuff, they let me use it at recess and sometimes when I'm doing my work when I'm struggling. As long as it's not a distracting, it's not distracting others, and it's not distracting the teacher, but it's helping our students learn and concentrate, I think that we should absolutely encourage. But not all educators are getting on board with the craze. Some school districts in Florida require a doctor's note to use the gadgets, and others have banned them completely. And some behavioral experts say there is no real proof that fidget devices like cubes, fitness balls, or in this case spinners, can actually make a measurable difference in focus. Just sitting and fidgeting with something is not going to really be that beneficial to a child with um, hyperactivity and inattention. But like Wyatt, Kayla says the spinners do help her concentrate. While a possible distraction for some, Kayla has been a believer since being introduced to the tool by a classmate. I tried it and it helped me when I was in class. Like she let me use it in class and I was reading with it and then it really helped me read. And we reached out to a number of local schools along with Pfeiffer and none that we spoke with have banned the fidget spinners just yet. Some like Fairview Park Elementary will only allow students to use the spinners the school provides. Nick Foley, News 5. I like how Nick just casually yep. had one in his mm -hmm. hand there. A school in California. Gonna want to talk about this one. Your child may have one of these right here. It's called a fidget spinner, and it's supposed to help your kids sit still and focus, but teachers say it's having the exact opposite effect. Manufacturers of these spinning toys say they're meant to help people with ADHD and anxiety channel their energy. Students are now bringing them into the classroom, and now a lot of teachers say instead of helping students, they're actually a huge distraction. Kids are collecting, comparing, and using them while they should be learning. Now, some of the spinners make noise, which can then even further distract some other students. S students, teachers say they've had enough here, and we're going to want you to weigh in on this. Again, we've got a link on our Facebook page. Does your child have one of these? And do you think they should even be allowed in the classroom? Tell us. Well, new at 11 tonight, the classroom craze has taken over the nation. Fidget spinners. Toys with the purpose to help students focus. Well, kids and many parents love them, so why are they being banned from some school districts? KXY4 Caroline Work looking for you to find out. Caroline? Nadine, these toys are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Tons of viewers sung their praises on a Facebook post that we sent out last night, but when I was researching for the story today, I saw mostly articles calling fidget spinners the bane of teachers everywhere, or the toys teachers are totally over. So we wanted to know what's the deal with these things, who and how do they help, and why are some schools closing their doors on them? It's what friends are for. 11-year-old Braylon Church and his buddies like the same things. Play basketball, come to the park and ride my bike to school. And dislike the same things. I don't like school. Why not? It's boring. But for this almost 12-year-old, it's boring for a different reason. When he was in the third grade, Braylon was diagnosed with ADHD. I honestly don't know that much about it but it's hard for me to stop moving. So now he uses this. The one that's really popular is the spinner toy. 
The fidget spinner and the fidget cube might have taken over the school population recently, but the concept behind them is old news. There's research to, to support the use of fidgets, and the spinners are just kind of the latest, greatest that have gone mainstream with kids. Remember these? Same idea. For kids with behavior issues or anxiety, ADHD, or kids who have a disability, school is challenging beyond just the homework. In class when I'm sitting there, I kick my feet or I, I just can't stop moving. Some behavioral specialists even use them to help kids work through tough emotions. What I really notice is they really need that ability to keep their hands busy. So once you can get them to have to keep their hands busy, um, then they can really start focusing on their thoughts. Fidget spinners help kids focus that anxiety and stress and distraction. Plus, they're cool. I can just sit there in class and go like this under my desk and then like I can alternate hands and do it too when I'm writing. But are they too cool? What happens if one kid's helpful tool becomes his classmate's distraction? The line would be where it starts to interfere with that student's learning environment or the learning environment of others. When every kid in every classroom has one, that's not too far out of reach. But Spokane Public Schools say they haven't had a major problem yet, though rules are in place in their schools and where Braylon goes to school in Post Falls to prevent it. They say we can have them as long as they don't see them or hear them and if they're under our desks. But if they come a distraction, we can't use them anymore. SPS says hopefully that won't happen here because yes, they're fun to play with, but for students like Braylon, they directly impact his learning experience. We absolutely need to have these in, in our classes for the students that have the need. Some parents pretty fond of these toys, too. They're helping the kids focus, and they're cheap. Most of them only about $5. Braylon's mom, Lisa, told me today that when he used to kick his feet during school, he wore his shoes down like crazy. Now he has a more effective management tool, and she's not spending as much money on new shoes. Reporting in studio, Caroline Rourke, Kick, so I for news. I have a child. We are going to talk to you about something you probably are quite familiar with at this point. Fidget spinners are all the rage right now. I've seen them in my house yeah. quite a bit. The question is, are they a fad? toy or is some claim are they much more now Detroit's Kim Russell introduces us to one third grader who says he thinks they're actually an educational tool it's called the fidget spinner they're all the rage with kids right now and they claim to help kids focus in school but do they really have a place in the classroom here at Conant Elementary School in Bloomfield Hills teachers didn't ask children to bring fidget spinners to school they just got popular and it happened it's feeling the vibration and it keeps this hand active so I don't like go like this and play around with this hand. Third grader Stefan Harris says it helps him focus. His teacher says it makes sense. It's kind of like the ball seats that we have in class. So you'll see some of the students are sitting on balls. As a third grade teacher, Caitlin Martin says one of the biggest challenges is helping kids pay attention when they want to move around. So they have used tools like these balls. Keeps their body engaged and moving around in third grade, especially as a transition from second grade. We do a lot more sitting still. The fidget spinner seems to do the same for some children. While it's new, the idea of having something else occupy your time so that you can focus on something else coming at you um, is great for most, most children. Principal Nick Russo says the district has plans to buy some fidget spinners for some children who have a hard time sitting still. The key is teaching children how to use them appropriately so they aren't a distraction. Is it distracting for other students? No. Why? I don't know. I think it's just... because I just put it right here. Stefan's not being deceptive when he says it's not a distraction in class. As a matter of fact, his teacher didn't even know he had one until we came in class and asked if anyone had one today. He was using it discreetly. In Bloomfield Hills, Kim Russell, The Now Detroit. All right, Joanne, hard to believe these are sold out. I have a hot pink one. You have a gold one. There <laughs> yeah, you go. They are kind of kind of fun to play with. I can see the, the points yeah, that they can help kids focus you and whatnot. You think so? Because if it's they so don't pretty, they stare at it or something? Yeah. <laughs> we were, that we were too. trying to see if it was a fan, but it's Right, when we get hot, will that help? <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess we not. We have different issues than the kids have. Oh, well, kind of cool. <laughs> they range in price, I think, from like... $1 yes, to range. 10 oh, You know what I mean. They're sold out. I know what you mean. Anyway. E aí galera, o que, que vocês acharam dessa ideia dos professores estarem comprando Finger Spinners para seus alunos? Deixa o seu gostei, marca o vídeo como favorito, compartilha com seus amigos, não esqueça de deixar o seu comentário aí abaixo para eu saber o que, que você acha, certo? Então, até o próximo vídeo, fui! Thank you.
I think it is something good. Here, try that one next to the tape. <laughs>